Derek Fisher might wear headbands lame in the bitch. <laughs> Niggas used to love wearing headbands when I was growing up. <laughs> nigga threw that motherfucker on, <laughs> over his eyebrows. He said, never mind, man. Fuck it. That nigga D nigga. Fish cussed me out one day. Damn. Not really cussed me out, but like try to sun me. Because I told, I told him he was sad. <laughs> I think I was a rookie. And uh, I got in the game. We was getting blown out. And this is a game I had dunked on. Uh, what was that? Lamar Odom, I think. Dunked on him. I'm having a good game. But we getting blown out. But we make a comeback. And I was like, yeah, sad ass nigga. Like, this nigga sad, man. Like, I'm just talking. And he got mad. He had one of our assistant coaches to grab me. Assistant coach grabbed me. was like, D Fish want to talk to you at half court. He came to me. He was like, don't get it fucked up. <laughs> I, I used to get buckets. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, all right. <laughs> what is this nigga talking to me for? He like, no, nah, no, nah, you need to understand this, young fella. It's a role in the NBA. You got to play a role. Go back and watch my highlights for Golden State in Utah. I used to get it in. Don't get it fucked up. I'm looking at this nigga like, man, I'm about to go to in and out Burger. I'm not worried about this <laughs> weak-ass combo you talking about. What the fuck is you talking about? That's some respect on yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to be a mentor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, I fast-forwarded, and I'm like, damn, that nigga was right. <laughs> Like, you do gotta play a role, nigga. When I got 30, they got me in the corner, man. Got me in the corner. Yeah. You went to Milwaukee, like, damn, I remember Derek Fisher now. <laughs> I see why defense was going through it. <laughs> man, shout out to Jeff T, man. That motherfucker doing some good shit yeah, over there in the content. It for sure, show. But could you bring back the headbands, though, boy? Oh, uh, I don't know, bro. Yeah. Everything, you know, it's a recycling door. Yeah. Uh, but Nelly, crazy work. Oh, Nelly had it with the with the do rag with, too with, with it with the with the Rico Suave, you know the two headbands. I don't, did you wear them? Did you wear them when it was? Hell yeah, I did. Yeah. But I think the the demise of the headband was lost. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. When LeBron stopped wearing his headband, mm. that just goes to show you like how much of an impact LeBron right. James had. You think he changed the culture of not wearing it? For sure. When he stopped wearing headbands. Because that was a part that of his. That whole Cleveland era. Like he had a headband every time. And then when he stopped wearing the headband, everybody was like, what the fuck? Why ain't he wearing his headband? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me take mine off there. Cool. Man, I so. had that rocker with headband. Like with my velour suit. Try, don't, don't hate on the velour suits and the headbands. Bro, come on, dog. Don't even play them, me like them, that, them, bro. Them velvet fuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them How does it fit? Them Manichi motherfuckers on that hoe. Them rocker wears. <laughs> them fat farms. Oh, I had a South Pole. But, but one, you bro. had a, a baby fat one, Nah, didn't you? come on. <laughs> I'm hey. fat. Fat in your eye. Keep playing. Come yeah, on, let me talk cool. to you. <laughs> Drinking and driving will change your whole world. The next time you're out with your friends, consider what will happen if you get pulled over after drinking, like the legal fees or time in court or a DUI on your record. Your decision to drink and drive can impact someone else's world too, if you hurt or kill them in a crash. Instead, what if your decision to call a sober driver could impact your world for the better? Drive sober or get pulled over. Paid for by NHTSA. <laughs>